multivitamins with collagen that's good for hair skin and nails I have these apple cider vinegar gummies good for weight loss and gut health and I also take these probiotics prebiotics and cranberry capsules by VH essentials for my lady party this is bad nature bounties y'all probably be familiar with this brand they have a lot of good vitamins for women but this is the one that I like to take every single day you can get this from Walmart or wherever else you like to shop for around eight or nine dollars when you start taking them daily, you will definitely start noticing the benefits. I got these from Bargain Hunt, as you can see, for $5, and they are so, so good. And this brand tastes like apple, like you can't even taste the apple cider vinegar. Most of the time, I do use Nair. This is a shower cream. It removes hair very seamlessly. Like, Nair, to me, Nair is equivalent to getting a wax. It's smooth, it's soft, no freaking hair in sight. As you can see, I'm almost out. But this one is for sensitive skin. Now with Nair, it does have a smell. Like, I think all the Nairs have that same kind of smell. But you will be pleased with the results. When I'm feeling lazy or I'm in a hurry and I don't feel like dealing with the Nair, I do just regular shave. So, this is the shaving cream that I do like to use when I shave. It's called Pure Silk. And it's some foam and shaving cream. This is what it's looking like. So, I go in with my shaving cream. And I also like to use these razors here it's not always these razors but I do like to use double blade razors because it help me get a closer shave you have to treat your skin after you remove hair you have to treat the skin so it won't get marked up and bumped up what I like to use is this razor bump slash dark spot solution you can find this you can find this link below on my Amazon storefront I've been using this for a year now and it works really really well after I get out the shower and I dry off and everything I put this on first before I go in with any type of oils because I wanted to dry out the hair bumps and I just wanted to prevent any more hair bumps from forming and now y'all we finna get into my shower routine and my body care products which is one of my favorite parts of this video I like coconut cocoa butter vanilla shea butter um just anything sweet smelling. I'm one of the girlies that has to double clean. Like if I don't double cleanse my body, I do not feel clean at all. The first time that I clean my body, I like to go in with this Gold Dow Bar Antibacterial Soap. This is always my go-to, always have been, always will be. Y'all, this is so, so good. It's antibacterial. It's for sensitive skin. It helps prevent sweating and my body feeling clean. It leaves me squeaky clean, literally. Like, if you use down soap, the gold bar, you know that feeling that it leave on you. That's the clean feeling that I like. When I'm not using Dial, I do like to use the Dr. Brothers Pure Castile Soap, the unscented kind. Now, I don't mess with the peppermint kind. A lot of people say they use the peppermint, but... Me and scents on my private areas, it don't mix too well, so I try to stay away from scented products. But every single time, I use the unscented Dr. Brunner's or the Dial Soap first to cleanse my body. I don't use a scrub every single time I get in the shower. So when I do want to use a scrub, the one that I've been using and the one that I'm going to continue to use for the rest of the fall is this brown sugar and coconut butter body scrub by Dove, y'all. 
when I say it smells amazing, the texture isn't too rough or it isn't too soft. I think it's just right. And also, this one here, it particularly lasts longer. Days that I do want to use a body scrub, I use my body scrub after I wash my body with my dial. It's the one that I'm going to keep using and the one that I love using. It just leaves my skin feeling so soft and smooth and then it smells so, so good. I also use body wash. The body wash that I've been obsessed with is this method body wash, the coconut rice milk and shea butter one. I told y'all like, these are my scents, okay? But this particular one, it has a very silky smooth texture. Also, this is long lasting as well. Very lightweight, but the smell lasts long. That's why I'm in love with this body wash. When I first get out the shower, I don't like to dry off all the way because I like to use body oil. If I don't want to use nothing with scent, I go in with this Palmer Vitamin E oil. This is the one that I should be using every single time. But y'all know I do love smells. So when I want to smell like something, I go in with this Palmer's um, body oil. It's the same brand, but this particular one here, it smells just like chocolate. This smells so good. As y'all can see, they kind of kind of equal. Like I've been using this one more than I use this one. This one is really for me for my sensitive skin but if i want to smell extra chocolatey and sweet i go in with this body oil right here they both look this lotion here is the methy coconut rice milk and shea butter lotion the one that matched my body wash and this is what it's looking like so i swap between this one and sometimes i use this coconut dream lotion notes are coconut cream and rich caramel i got this from walmart as well this is what this one is looking like this has been my go-to so far as y'all can see it's almost empty but i do kind of switch switch swap between this one and this one like they both smell good so this is what these are looking like now y'all should have known that next up i was coming to let y'all know my body sprays and my perfumes for the fall so these are my big three right this one is by bodycology it's called cozy fire size s'more i haven't really been using this one as you can see it's still full but this is one it's still one of my favorites but the one that I'm obsessed with that I have stressed to y'all over and over again is this Choco Mousse perfume, y'all. This is my favorite. As you can see, it's almost gone. Let me just spray it on me right now. Oh, it just smells so good. It smells like chocolate, caramel, and vanilla mixed in one. And what I like about this, it's very long lasting, y'all. I would never switch my perfumes. Like, these three here would be my go-to forever because it just... It's that smell that I just can't shake. Like, I love this product. This paired with this vanilla body spray by Body Fantasies. This is one of my go-tos as well. I've been using this body spray for a year now. These two together smell so good. Like, every time I mix these two, people always tell me how good I smell. I be like... <laughs> I be blushing because I love when people tell me that I smell good, y'all. I just think my routine for the fall is just top tier. Like... All the scents complement each other well. Like, I love my fall hygiene routine. And I hope y'all try out some of these combos and some of these products that I'm recommending because I don't cap. I don't get on the internet and lie. This is real. Like, all this put together make you just smell so good. For my deodorant, I do just use the Dove Sensitive. Now, this is one of the only deodorants that don't break me out under my arms. But all the cheap deodorants, uh, like Suave and... Uh, Whatever the dollar deodorants, those break me out so bad. But ever since I swapped to Dove, like, I stopped getting breakouts. And this one just smells like powder. I probably, I'm probably going to try to find, like, the Dove cocoa butter so it can just match the rest of my scents. But for now, the deodorant that I'm using is just the Dove Sensitive Can, and it smells like powder. Now, we are almost to the end of the video. If you made it this far, go and clap up for yourself. Congratulations. I have one more thing to tell y'all about my fall hygiene routine, which is my skincare but if y'all made it to this far this video, I want you to drop some red hearts down below or comment which one of the products that I just showed y'all and recommended to y'all do y'all are y'all thinking about trying, all right? So that's how I'm finna know if y'all tuned in or not. I'm either finna see red hearts or y'all finna let me know which one of these products that you would like to try. I'm queasy, y'all. I'm not playing. I need to know who be watching the full video. My skin is very sensitive, so everything that I put on my face is unscented. Number one, because scents break me out. And it's lightweight because I do have like oily skin and my pores like to get big and ugly and I don't like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and show y'all my simple everyday skincare routine. If y'all been paying attention to my vlogs or the rest of my videos, y'all know that I've been on Urban Skincare, our X brand Railroad Bag. 
somebody introduced me to this sage scrub, y'all, and it was the one of the best things that I ever bought. As y'all can see, I am almost out. Like, you can literally see through it. But I use this twice a day in the morning and at night. Or sometimes when I'm lazy, I just use it at night. But I do make sure that I wash my face every single day. This one is called their Even Tone Cleansing Bar. It targets dark marks and it's supposed to help brighten your skin. As y'all can see, my dark spots are fading away. After my cleanser, I do like to go in with a toner. But the toner that I've been using lately is these Blemish Clearing Pads by Thayer's. It has salicylic, salicylic acid and it's for acne. Now this does have a smell, but this smell is witch hazel, aloe vera, and lemongrass. So it don't really do, not, do anything to my skin. It clears acne, helps prevent new breakouts, and it's for acne prone skin. It's by Thayer's. So this is what the bottle is looking like. I have like using this on my skin because it dries out the pimples that do try to form. But they are just like any other ordinary cotton rounds. But it comes with its own liquid inside and you just take the pad and just scrub it around your face and it'll help clear out your acne. This is the Holy Grail product. This is the product that I strongly believe clear my dark spots. I'm gonna try to find an old picture to show y'all my dark spots like a before and after so as y'all can see this is the after and then i'm gonna put the before on the screen if i can find a picture so by urban skin rx this is what this look like now disclaimer urban skin rx is very expensive okay i think this um facial wash from them was like 14 dollars, and this little thing by itself is 22 dollars but it does work and these together did clear up my dark spots and it's still clearing up my dark spots because i still use these Next up is this vitamin C serum. This is something new that I've been trying. I've been hearing a lot of people say that vitamin C is good for clearing dark spots. So I've been like switching, swapping between these two, but I just got this vitamin C serum from Walmart. This little thing was $9, y'all. But it, it's lightweight and it's unscented, so I don't think this will be breaking me out. But it's by True Skin. It's the Vitamin C Facial Serum and it has hyaluronic acid. Now let's move to under eye. I am one of those people who have very heavy and dark under eyes. I don't know if it's hereditary. It could be because I don't get enough sleep. It could be both. But I've been using these golden iPads. I got these from Walmart. <laughs> Walmart just needs to sponsor me. I need to become a Walmart influencer because almost everything I have, I get from Walmart or I get from Amazon. But these are the um, iMads that I've been using. They're gold. They're just like the 24K ones that you get from Amazon. And I think it's 16 pair for like $10.99. But I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. This is what they look like, y'all. These are very good. Um, when I'm in a hurry, I need to go somewhere or I just need to pick me up on my eyes throughout the day. I do just pop these on. Or when I don't want to put on my mask, I have been using this brightening eye cream. This is by the Inculus. Um, it says it's for instant illumination and brightening over a period of time. Now, this is my second eye cream from them. My first one was okay. It was the caffeine eye cream. I think I like that one better than this one, but they both work good. Like, after you apply it and you massage it under your eyes, you do see a big difference. So, this is what this is looking like. I don't use both at the same time. It's either or. If I'm using a mask, I don't use the cream. And if I'm using the cream for the day, I don't apply the mask. Like, I dibble and dabble between these two. This is the moisturizer um, that I use by them. It's for even for even skin tone. It has ceramides, niacinamide, and squalene. It hydrates and improves the look of uneven skin. So this is the moisturizer that I've been using. As you can see, this is almost out as well. Your girl gonna have to do some self-care shopping, but I like this because it's very lightweight. It's not oily. Like I told y'all, I got oily skin. And I just like the way it just leaves my skin feeling and looking like this is a very good, um, this is a very good moisturizer. Now this is like, I think this is like $20 too. So yeah, Urban Skin RX is not cheap y'all, but it is a good brand. I don't really be in the sun like that because like I be sleep all day long and I only go out at night because I have to go to work. But when I do have to go out in the daytime, this is the sunscreen that I like to use. It's by the Inculus. This and this eye cream is both by the Inculus. This is a good brand to invest in as well. So this is my SPF. 
It's SPF 30. It hydrates. You can use it as a primer for your makeup and it will protect your skin. I like this one because it's lightweight. Like my skin is very oily so I try to use like lightweight products. But yeah, this one is unscented and I think it lasts a pretty long time. Like I've never had to reapply it. So, this is my sunscreen that I like to use whenever I do go out and be in the sun. Most of my dark spots came from me playing Pimple Popper on my face. And I played Pimple Popper right here too. As y'all can see, it's a little dark spot right here. But lately, I've just been using these um, pimple patches. You get 240 patches. You get clear and you get pink. And I think this is like $9. I don't know, y'all. I could be wrong about the prices, but y'all can just check my description box. But these are what the pimple patches are looking like. I've had this for a few months. Like 240 pimple patches. That's a lot. And I'm almost out. As you can see, <laughs> this is what I have left out of the whole 240, y'all. This is all I got left. But it's very worth it. These lasted me for about four or five months. And they work super fast. Like, you don't even have to keep it on eight hours. You can put it on for two to four hours. And all the gunk just going to be on the pimple patches. Now that I showed y'all my skincare products, let's do lip care. Like, you got to take care of your lips. You do know that, right? <laughs> okay, I'm just checking. The two manual lip scrubs that I like to use are these two. This one is called the Ultra Sexy Scrub. It's by Homemade Heroes. I ordered this from Amazon. This is what it's looking like. Okay. This one smells like coconut, of course. And then this second one here is called Banana Bonanza. I got this one from Bath and Body Work. This is one of my favorite lip scrubs. First of all, it smells like banana. And banana is not a bad smell. And then you get a lot for the money. How much was this? This was $10.95, and I think this one on Amazon is like $8.99. So if you want to go the cheaper route, try this one. But if you want some really good quality, go get you some lip scrub from Bath & Body Works. Sometimes I use this one, sometimes I use this one. But this Banana Bonanza from Bath & Body Works, this is my favorite scrub. And to use it, all you do is just wet your lips, dig in there, and just scrub it around. Just scrub all the dead skin or all the old lip gloss off your lips and this is going to leave your lips feeling soft and silky. This lip balm or lip mask, whichever one you want to call it, it's really a lip mask but over the span of six months I've been using it as just regular lip gloss. Yes, yeah, six months. So I'm going to pop down the screen and I say this is the best lip balm, mask, gloss, whatever you want to call it that I've ever had and plus that little this little tube thingy, it lasted me for six months. Like, I recently ran out. And I'm so, so sad. Like, I gotta order me some more. Now, it is $20, okay? But, it lasted me six months. Like, that's a long time. That was one of my favorite things to put on my lips. Like, I'm gonna find some pictures to pop on the screen so y'all can just see how it had my lips. And it smells so good. It's by Marie. That's a brand on Amazon. Like I said, it is $20, but it's worth it. And you get to keep it for like five or six months. Like, that's good. Until I do my hygiene and self-care shopping, I just bought three different lip lip balms this month to kind of replace that until I get that but I will be getting it again you guys to know it so what I have on my lips right now is just regular Carmex it's the medicated kind I got this from Walmart for a dollar love it you can never go wrong with Carmex it's called birthday cake it don't have the best smell I was going off the name and you know you can't smell it be wrapped up in a package so I just went off the name I thought it was gonna smell good but this actually stinks <laughs> It stinks, but it does what it's supposed to do. Like, he always has some good lip balm. And this this particular one, it's so pink. I don't even think y'all can see the name. Here we go. You can kind of see it. But anyway, y'all, it's called Birthday Cake. It don't smell the best, but it lasts all day. Like, I've only, when, I'm, when I wear these, I only have to reapply it one or two times throughout the day. When I want to feel extra glossy, I just use this, um, just, it's um, sheer lip gloss by LA Colors. You can get this from Dollar Tree or Dollar General. It's just a dollar. Like this is good as well. It have your lips popping. This really could be a lip plumper because I swear when I put this gloss on, it just make my lips look so much fuller. But yeah, y'all, these are my big three until I get my big one back that 
I've been putting on my lips recently. So babes, the last um category for real that I'm gonna tell y'all about that I like to use is for hair care. Now I do wear a lot of weave and a lot of weave, so I don't really take care of, take care of my hair as much as I should, but if I don't do nothing else, I'm gonna wash it, I'm gonna braid it down, and I'm gonna oil it, okay? So first off, I've been using this 100% pure castor oil. Um, after I braid my hair down to get ready to put my weaves on, I do like to oil my scalp with this. This is pretty good. This has been growing my edges. Like, this is my go-to. Girl, then went and got her some blue magic. So, I've been putting this on my hair as well. This is the one that my mom used to put in my head when I was a little girl and used to have my hair long as hell. So, I just went back to this one. I'm going to be mixing these two. Like, I'm going to swap between. I like to put this on my edges and then I like to just put this on my hair and my scalp. But yeah, I don't think I could go wrong with this blue magic, so I had to go back to the roots, okay? So babes, I just gave y'all everything from my supplements to my hair care, my skin care, my body care, and shower routine for the fall or like forever because most of these products I don't plan on switching up or like if I want to try something new, I might try something new, but this will always be my go-to. I just named it Fall Hygiene or fall whatever because the nails technically are fall smells but this will be my forever hygiene routine okay but yeah i just put y'all on to a lot of products y'all probably be familiar with some products y'all probably some products probably be new to you go ahead and like the video drop me some comments down below subscribe if you're not subscribed and i'll see y'all in my next video